what are we going to be, where are we going to be 10 years from now? What are we going to be focusing on? How are we going to be training and how's it going to be different? What do you, what do you think? And, I, and feel I free to go down that rabbit hole that you're already halfway down. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, that's exciting. That's really, really cool. I, I hope that uh, the training is, is completely adaptive at that point. You know, I, I would, would love nothing more than to have the situation where an athlete is checking in with the heart rate variability and the, the various metrics in the morning and the session gets, gets generated on the basis of that on the spot, you know, so it's completely real time. And, uh, and, you know, similarly when the athlete's doing the session, feedback is getting sent to, you know, the artificial intelligence and it's changing the session on the fly in accordance with, with that feedback. I think that level of adaptability is something that we have the technology for now, you know, so it's, uh, it's really just, uh, just a question of implementing it and, uh, who's going to implement it first and, uh, you know, how, how are they going to, going to do things? Cause, uh, I really, I feel that the difference that that sort of adaptive approach makes versus a rigid approach is so great that the, the people who take the rigid approach just won't be competitive anymore. I, I really feel that, that strongly about, uh,